know it and there's countless thousands of people around New Zealand who are anxiously waiting to see what the impact of this legislation is going to be. Um, so I've, I've got a couple of things that I want to say that sort of give you a bit of a steer about where we're, where we're going. Because Labour doesn't um, stand for the protection of um, industrial or business models, any industrial or business models, whose time has passed. Um, and it welcomes the radical innovation that uh, the internet's given rise to. Um, we do, however, support a vibrant New Zealand content industry and the role of intellectual property law is really critical to that. And that's probably why you've seen from Labour um, such a, uh, a sort of a slowness and uh, uh, to change because that's where we've come from in terms of the protection of the creative content um, that people in New Zealand uh, create and the, I guess the, the sense of how important it is to, to protect that and it's, and it's sort of a to deal with that in the digital age and with the people that want to access stuff and do it differently to how they've done it in the past um, has sort of taken time for us to evolve and I'm happy to talk more about that if you want me to. Um, the other thing to say is that internet access is not just a utility, it's an essential service. Um, but it also enables the provision of social and family connections across distances, time and work opportunities. Therefore, all New Zealanders should have the right to internet access and Labour will, ensure, will work to ensure that that is the case. That's a pretty important fundamental principle that our policy will be based on. Um, Labour doesn't believe that today's Copyright Act provides the framework to see New Zealand's information economy thrive. It does not convey to the Kiwis the full rights that they could enjoy under our international obligations. So three centuries ago was the express purpose of creating particular economic incentives for innovation by protecting creators' rights are today no longer achieving that goal. Instead, they're too often obstructing innovation and economic growth. Um, but as I've said at the same time, we must not put our hugely important creative industries at risk. That is the kind of, um, I guess, the conundrum with which we're, gra we're grappling with, which is around the world are grappling with. This is a debate about shifting power, uh, access to information, outdated business models, and the immense potential of the internet change our world and most politicians in our parliament don't get that and that is the issue that you've got before you today they just Indeed. don't get it and you'd all know that from watching the debate in parliament around when the copyright law was being um, put in that there was really a very small number of speakers who had a clue what they were talking about and they still don't have a clue and you know I mean yes you could blame them and all of that stuff but educating them and helping to shift parliamentarians in their thinking is, um, is a really critically important task. Um, nobody around the world really knows what to do about all of this yet, but Labour is committed to having a go. Uh, we need the capacity to acknowledge our mistakes, copyright and the original section 92A. And I think we'd acknowledge that now. It has taken a while for um, Labour to get to that point. But it is at that point in our policy that we will hope to announce next week will reflect that. Um, we've learned from it. And so, if we win government, we will immediately repeal the termination clause in the um, legislation um, uh, because that was the only reason that we voted for the bill was to, uh, to keep that termination. Um, and what we will do first is to repeal that termination clause and we'll review the whole issue with a view to changing our environment and encouraging new business models to emerge which will distribute content easily.
and affordably. And I can't say any more than that because I can't see what our policy is until it's released. So, here you go.